SLT Fiber and experience the power of fiber technology. Sri Lanka's only super fast internet connection. SLT Fiber. Call 1212 now. Tonight, tall order. Gortave pledges an end to homelessness, while Sajid promises a manifesto in every northern and eastern home. Blame game. Former central bank governor accuses the government of hiding inefficiency and mismanagement by deflecting blame. Each one of these things, you can see that there is a final link to the inefficiencies and the mismanagement of this government. Every day, this government comes up and gives some excuse or the other. Loss-making entities. The president singles out the Public Utilities Commission for criticism. Trump attacks. President Donald Trump ridicules former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg's 2020 presidential bid. Little Michael will fail. All that and much more coming up on First at Nine. This Saturday, the 9th of November, 2019. Koda girls la artificial to fair and lovely vitamin therapy From Ada Verana, this is Ada Verana First at Nine. Live from Studio 24 in Colombo. Good evening and welcome to First at Nine. I'm Dhammik at Nine. Let's start with your local stories. People who take to polling stations on the 16th better take extra care when casting their vote as you will not get an additional ballot paper if you make a mistake when marking your ballot paper. Speaking at a media briefing, Chairman of the Election Commission Mahinda Desha Priya insisted that senior presiding officers do not have the power to issue extra ballot papers unless under special circumstances. ओबे <laughs> Anavadani Nisa, Yamma Karagate, Chanda Patrika, Pavichikaran, Baruno Twitter. Udarana Katiate, Yam making, Be Vamate, Sulangil, Galatina Tint, Chanda Patrika, Hamatanama Gavuno, Nata Chanda Patrika, Chanda Pitir, the Annakota Iruno, Venat Chanda Patrika, Nikut Karagana Pulua, Namut Monehe to Akindavat, Mama Chande Denna Hiti. Mema pe chekiate, Namu lakunune, Vinata pe chekeute, Eke in the Mata Vinat Chanda Patrika, then Nagela illa, Jesta Chanda Stana Vaturunda, Karadar Kirim, Illim Kirimin, Wallakina Lesa, Seluma Chanda Daikangi, Apil Lasitino. Gel scene action. Anti germ mouthwash summoning in a close up gel like a story to start Karana. Presidential contender of the Sri Lanka Pudujana Perumuna Gotabe Raj Baksha reiterates his commitments towards the impoverished and underprivileged, emphasizing that they will see a brighter day under his government. The presidential candidate was seen attending several campaign rallies across the island today as well, with his orations focused on employment and housing. Let's see what the former Defence Secretary had to say, starting from Nuarelia. Another rally in the election campaign of SLPP presidential hopeful Gotabe Rajapaksa was worked off in New Relia today. Both the presidential candidate and opposition leader Mahinda Rajapaksa addressed the gathering. <laughs> Pidanamape, Rate, Tama Dupa, Dilundu Bavin, in Janakota Sakino. Api Artike Api, Godagano at Tekama, Api Ay, Jivat Karavi, Masandaha, Vishesha, Sahana Malla, owned a portion of Malla, owned a nomile Labadinata, Apitir Nekala Tibena, Mamadana Kopamanamaru, the Raja, 
सेवे के कुट माध्यम पांते जीविते आरंभ करना पुत्गले कुट निवासा खादा का नितेना पासुतावे निशापी ये वेनुएं शेष नापी साका चाकल तीनवा अपार्टमेंट साधन ए समागम सामग नापी में सैम अंशे कटम निवासा क्लबादे नट वैदपिलेला का तिबेनो तमुन्नान सेला नुवरे लिए अदमी महावैसेत कुड ओसोगे ने वितरक निवे कुड अतः वैसे मैं क्यों मैं अपने पेनो नुवरे लिए आप ही अनिवार्य दिल नो आगे ला मैं बाहर नुवरे लिए देंगे आप ही बी वाले तो पूर्व साना दारिया किधर दूना ये वाकी मानी कुछ ये वाटा दूना नमूद मैं पार एलोवलु गोविया तो हाँ बी गोविया तो अनिवार्य में आप ही पूर्व नोमिले लाभादी मसंद � पांतुरे जान ना कांता वधक पा आरक्षा व ऐतुर मेरा ते जीवती में आईतियला बादी में वागकी मार आप इधर तीनों आए अनबराले नानबराले नान उंगल सौदरन नान उंगल संधकारन नान उंगल विट्टू पिल्ला है नींगल लेन्ने ही नंबलाम नान उंगले ही नंबुकिरेन वेट्रिसिन्नम मोट्टुसिन्नम Meanwhile, presidential contender Gota Bey Rajapaksa landed at the grounds of Kumaradasa Mahavidyale in Vallavaya to attend another campaign rally. Apidanava me Pradesh uk vaga karna janata va kinna va. AI venue na pi uk vaga va diuno karan raj anugraha e dena vai kine kat kya na tohone. Ada paran satra daha kinna va upaj darin rakia na tu. Janava hari pale venida veno kota eselu dena atam rakia laba dena vai kine kame avastha vidi kya na tohone. एक कम राजे पूरा पाडू आशेन लक्ष्य का पामन पूरा पाडू तीनों में पूरा पाडू वाले विशाल प्रमाण एक तीनों वा निपुणत प्याक आवश्य नती रक्यावन नुहत में निपुणत प्याक आवश्य नती रक्यावन ट पावा में निपुणत प्याक आवश्य नती रोहाल वाले अध्यापन कार्य आले वाले पलात पाल न कार्य आले वाले तीन में मेमे� कारण तो होना ये आव दुपट कमिंग गालवागन अदती है ना मैं अभी योगा अभी जायगा नवाई के ने का तमुन नांसे लाट किया ना तो होना अभी मानवा देश एक तमुन नांसे लाट लबा देने वाई के ना साहती के अधिमिन तमुन नांसे लाट जायवे वा पोहट्टू एक जायवे वा उमावे वातुरे नो आदर आंधा बांगल हादला � आरंभ करें खाओ द माता के द लाइन वाक का ही तंग इन्ना मेरा विरुद्ध तक राम आरंभ कर बुआ एक क्या ना खाता नौकर ही त्याग में मिनिसुंग के हाथवात कलिंग आरंभ कर बुआ आप तक वे ही गया ला एम वही द मैं दें साउदर और नहीं पहले बात तो ना मुकोते वेला दिए ने दें नाये वेला पार्टी के हुए पार्टी के हुए नाये टा आरे के ना सीनी ठीका उगास तियला आरे के ना पार्टी के हुए लाभ इतु मांगे मैतिवर ने प्रकाशने भाषा तुनिंग तुम विद्या किए ना एक सच जाति का पक्षे मितेकल किसी में अपेक्षके को नोकर बुद्या लोगे किसी में अपेक्षके भाषा तुनकिंग तुम विद्या टा जानता हूँ रावतन वो युग्या के ना प्याहलन है with exactly a week to go for the hotly contested presidential polls, the rush to canvas crucial northern and eastern votes continues full speed ahead with new Democratic Front presidential candidate Sajid Premadasa attending a score of public events in the areas. Minister Premadasa pledged to unite the populace under a single unitary country and called on the people of the northern and eastern areas to play a crucial part in strengthening the country by helping elect him as president. New Democratic Front presidential candidate Sajid Premadasa held a series of public events in the northern and eastern provinces. His first stop was in the Jaffna district where he promised to do the never before and organize international conferences in the north and east. <laughs> Mengapa tu malah lelaki yang nak kembali? 
యుద్ధం పస్సే కిసిమ కెనుకుంట బెరి ఉనా జాత్యంతర సముడు దగ పవత్తన్ ఉతురేత నగిని హెరే మమ ఏదే ఇష్ట కరనవా మేరదే ఉబాప సీలుమ దేనా సింహల తమిళ ముస్లిం బర్గర్ తమంగే జాతీయ ఆగమ కుమక్కువ కులే గోత్రే తరాతిరమ కుమక్కువ ఎక రటక ఎక జన గొట్టాస ఖడియట అపే రటదుల ఎక్సిట్ల ఎక్సత్వ ఏకియ శ్రీలంకావతుల అపిమే రట శక్తిమత్ కరన్నట కపవెనో కపవెనో ఆకిల మమ్మే వస్తావే కియన గమతి The presidential candidate then attended another event in Trincomalee where some mild confusion reigned during some speeches. Oba sielu denama ena dase wenida portuwata chande dila aniware Sajith Premadasa Bathithumawa me rate janadipadi karana kot dase wenida ta tamun nansela me rate alut swarname yuge nirmane karannata punchi manusyaage yuge nirmane karannata సామాన్య జనతావ మేరటే రజకరవన్నట హన్సయత్ సజిత్ ప్రేమదాస జాగ్రహణే కరవన్నే కియలా ఇల్లి మక్కరన మీన్వాల్ ద క్యాండిడేట్ ఆల్సో అటెండెడ్ an event in the Ampara district the members of the public disrupted some of the key speakers rendering them unable to finish their addresses మంత్రి తుమ అతి గౌరవనీయ అబే పోజ్యమైన ఐతిహాసిక సేవ గోవి జనతా అవట కృషికరమే నియాలి సిటిన జనతా అవట మమ్మ ఇష్టకరట యానవా హుసే సిటిన ధరువట తమసతేక నాయ భరత నుమతి మాతృభూమి దాయాద కిరీమాయి మగే మే యోజనావే అరమున లబాదెన్న బెరువును కృషి రక్షణ వందితిక అపి అనివార్యమ్మ లబాదెనవా గమ్ముదావ వగే వేవుదావ వలిన్ అపి వేవుటిక గొడనగను అయి కియనక మే వస్తావే కియన కమతి The presidential contender of the New Democratic Front also says that he will strive to be the voice of the voiceless pledging to revive the economy following the hit it took during the Easter spate of terror. He made this remark during an event held in Colombo recently. I for one shall strive to be the voice of the voiceless and be the representative of the silent majority. We will establish a presidential task force on tourism. We will ensure that the tourism policy is implemented. The setbacks that took place because of the internal security situation and the retardation of tourist arrivals. We gave an open promise that the moratoriums will continue until all the stakeholders in the tourism sector are up on their feet back to the pre-Easter attack levels. We have taken a step forward in promising to name tourism uh, as an export industry. Through that pronouncement, I believe tourism can be used as uh, one of the areas in which the country can flourish. We have seen in recent times where policies have been structured to support and favor certain business conglomerates that have been the political favorites of the different uh, political leaders. I think that should not be the order of the day. Now if MP Anura Kumara Desanayake becomes the next president of Sri Lanka all parliamentarians can expect to go without a pension addressing a public rally in Mathura the presidential hopeful of the movement National People's Power also pledged to introduce legislation which will see MPs defecting after being elected lose their parliamentary seat An election campaign rally championing presidential candidate of the movement National People's Power MP Anura Kumara Desanayake was worked off yesterday in Mathura Ravi Garma Nayaka Lavilla man ada kiwa kiyala liya ganna beri wala hari e galu dinuwat kiyanne mokadda janathawa ape siyalu paw soda ayata maha banku bendum kara wanchawe wanchawak nutibiw bawa utawa niwerdi ganunuwak bawa janatha wisin tajit bemadasata kathire gasa oppu kara ata e nisa api thawa durata weradi karuwan nome kome sanipe eta inna gamaka tarunneka tuna merata palana wiwata haul wiwata samathana desa palana nindahasa api rata istapta karu me paramparawen paramparawata depala bukti 
विश्रामीर We'll return after this short break. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're watching First at Night. Now, President Maitri Palasirisena is critical of the Public Utilities Commission as well as several state institutions for incurring losses to the government. He singled out the Ceylon Electricity Board, saying its losses stand at a staggering 89 billion rupees. Addressing a book launch at the BMICH in Colombo last evening, the head of state wished someone would come forward to save these institutions and arrest the country's slide towards poverty. අපේ රටේ ආර්ථික ගැන තම උන්නාන්සල දන්න මම බොහොම පරිස්සමෙන් කතා කරන්නේ මේ ඡන්ද කාලේ මම මැද ඉන්න මිනිහෙක් කාටවත් පක්ෂව කතා කරන්නේ නැතුව ආණ්ඩු වලට ඔළුව කැක්කුම හදන ආයතන කීපයක් තියෙනවා මේ රටේ එකක් තමයි විදුලිවල මණ්ඩලය ඊළඟට ඛනිජ තෙල් නීති ගස සංස්ථාව ඊළඟට ජල සම්පාදන මණ්ඩලය ඊළඟට ශ්‍රී ලංකන් ගුවන් සේවය අපුගේ අවුරුදු දෙකේ මේ මහජන උපවිතා කොමිසම විසුරු ආහරින්ද උත්සාහ කළා ජනාධිපතිටත් බැරි වුණා අගමැතිටත් බැරි වුණා ඇමති මණ්ඩලයටත් බැරි වුණා පිළිබඳ වලනේ අද යම් කිසි පාඩුවක් ලැබීමේදී ප්‍රධාන වගකීමෙන් බේරෙන්න බැරි ආයතනයක් තමයි මහජන උපවිතා කොමිසම කරුල් වැටුණාම රටටම ආ ලෝකේ දෙනවා ගෙවල් වලයි පාරේ කර්මාන්තා ඔක්කොගේම හෝටල් වලයි විදිලවල මණ්ඩලේ අඳුරේ රටට එළියේ තියෙනවා බිලියන් 89යි මේ අවුරුද්දු වෙනකොට පාඩුව. අවුරුදු ජනාධිපති වුණත් මේ රටේ දුගී භාවය රටට ඇති කරන ප්‍රධාන ආයතන මේ ආයතන. රටේ ආර්ථිකය සඳහා, අනාගතය සඳහා, දුප්පත්කමින් රට බේරා ගැනීම සඳහා ඔය මම කියපු ආයතන එක්කම විදිලිබල් මණ්ඩලයේ ගොඩ ගැනීම සඳහා දෙවියන් වහන්සේ හෝ කවුරු හරි කෙනෙක් ඉදිරිපත් වෙලා මේකට අවශ්‍ය වැඩපිළිවෙලක් යොදන්නයි කියලා ඉල්ලා සිටුවින් මගේ කතාව අවසන් කරනවා. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe believes that the country's education system needs to be revamped to suit the needs of the fourth industrial revolution. In this backdrop, he added that his government remains committed to making the best use of the country's most valuable resource, its people, by bringing them up to speed with knowledge requirements of the digitalized world. His views came during an event in Colombo. We are living in a new age, the age of technology, the age of the fourth industrial revolution. the age when knowledge is the key to success the new knowledgers therefore we we ourselves as a country are planning now to ensure that we have a digital economy that we have export oriented economy and we have economy that's the part of the fourth industrial revolution which is based on it digitalization and this is where sri lanka has to leap frogging countries have industrialized we are only industrialized partially now are we to keep on industrializing or are we to take the next step using our natural resources what is the natural resource that we have it's our people and we have to develop our education system our knowledge and skill in this age of the digital digital economy in singapore they have developed their own manpower so why can't we do it so that's the first step is to ensure 13 years of continuous education and then in different ways you are exposed to technology and to it Shramant Jayamaha who was condemned for capital punishment over the royal park apartment murder in 2005 has been granted a presidential pardon Commissioner General of Prisons TMJW Tenakon said that he received the relevant documentation pertaining to the presidential pardon Former Central Bank Governor Ajit Nimat Kabral says that the current government shields its inefficiency and mismanagement by blaming the for a former regime. 
Responding to claims of the previous regime amassing a, the biggest debt and in turn forcing the country into a debt trap, the former central bank governor brushed off such claims, adding that it is a canard spread by the incumbent prime minister who himself got the country trapped in debt. His remarks came during our current affairs program at Hyde Park on Adaderna 24. One of the biggest accusations levelled against you and the previous regime is that Sri Lanka went on to amass the greatest debt and in fact the allegation suggests that Sri Lanka fell into the debt trap as it were during the previous regime under which you were the central bank governor. That's a canard that has been spread by no less a person than the current prime minister who was talking about a debt trap, debt trap, debt trap until he got into one himself. If you take the debt of any country or any person there are three factors. One is the quantum of debt. How much is your debt? And the second is the interest rate that you have to pay. That's it is your servicing cost. And the third is the length of your debt. Now, if you take Sri Lanka in 2005, when we took over, we found that the debt level of the country was as high as 91%. The time to maturity of the debt was only about three years. The third was that we were servicing the debt at a range of around 6% per annum. That time, actually, we were in a debt trap. Thereafter, when we left in 2014 end, the debt to GDP level had come down to 71%. That is, mind you, after all the massive construction work that was done and after spending for the war, the second part, the debt servicing cost, had come down to 4.2%. So that was a manageable rate. We had shrunk the debt to GDP ratio and the interest rates were sound. Today, we find that the debt to GDP has gone up to as much as 100%. The debt servicing is now at 6% because they have borrowed at high interest rates each year. If we are talking about a debt trap, now is the time to talk about it. We are in a debt trap now and in order to get out of that, we have to quickly ensure that our GDP grows. We got to shrink the interest rates because we have borrowed and borrowed and borrowed. So when you are lending, if the person who is borrowing has shown some recklessness, they jack up the rates. So we need to show some discipline and once we do that we are quite confident that we'll be able to bring it down. One of the things which are highlighted in fact our growth rate kept uh, being revised down in fact it was revised down several um, several times. There were difficulties in the agri sector and Easter tax played a part as well and also the um, 52 day government that too had an impact this is the view of the IMF. You got to have uh, economic policy that can work under any circumstances. During our time also we had enough of shocks. Did you hear us complaining? So who did the Easter shock? It is the government's own inefficiency that led to that. Each one of these things, you can see that there is a final link to the inefficiencies and the mismanagement of this government. They let the rupee slide from 131 to 182. Was it before the Easter Sunday or after the Easter Sunday? Every day, this government comes up and gives some excuse or the other. And that's it from all of us here at First at Nine. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.